I'm about as real as they come. All my beats tailored by Joe. Digital. Maserati Rick in Detroit, Deep. convertible bird in Miami, Miami Graduated summa cum laude, strip club made a tsunami Carlton Hines with the ball game, Rayful Edmonds with the snowflakes Craig Pettis in the M-Town, Sal Magluta with the boat game Falcone with the cocaine, like Freeway Ricky with the plug game Like Monster Cody in South Central, Larry Davis from Close Range Yo, yo, we back It's your boy Pop a lot Mob Ties. We on our way to Florida with it. Coral Springs, Pembroke Pines, Miramar, Miami Gardens, Miami, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale. I'm fucking everywhere. Y'all niggas get in the comment box, man. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know we fuck with y'all. Scam City. Now, the guy that we about to be covering today is going to be a guy by the name of Josh Bellamy. Now, before I even get into it with Josh Bellamy, he's going to be a 31-year-old gentleman from Petersburg, Florida. Anybody that's a sports fan might know of him. Balled out hard for the Jets. Um, so, you know, well, that's going to be the New York Jets NFL football team. Now, I know y'all wondering, why are we doing the mob ties on Josh Bellamy? Let's just say Josh Bellamy was getting that COVID cheese. Now, all my people that are hip, they already know what I'm talking about. But if you're not hip, I swear some of y'all long here on mob ties. You know I'm going to put you on game. I know this is what Papa is here for. Now, before I talk a little bit about Josh Bellamy, let's talk a little bit, bit about getting COVID money. Now, I know it's running rampant in the hoods. People getting the damn small business loan. They're getting the COVID money. I already seen like people getting indicted from that. So be careful. And to the niggas that's getting in the comment box or that might get in the comment box, be careful what you say because the streets are definitely watching. I would hate to be doing a mob ties episode on somebody for something that they said in a mob ties comment box. And that's all I got to say about that. But let's just talk about uh, a little bit about COVID relief, COVID money. Or matter of fact, let's talk about the CARES Act. The CARES Act is a federal law enacted March 29th in 2020 and it was designated to provide emergency financial assistance to the millions of americans who were suffering from the epidemic um and pretty much just with covid and with the pandemic one source of relief provided by the kids act was the authorization of up to 349 billion dollars in forgivable loans to small businesses for job retention and certain other expenses now and that's all provided through what is called the ppp now in april 2020 congress authorized over 300 billion dollars in additional ppp funding so with that being said the money is out there somebody gotta get it and according to the government josh bellamy and 10 other co-conspirators were some of the people that were getting it. Now, the indictment against him alleges that he conspired with others to obtain millions of dollars in fraudulent PPP loans. I've seen one estimate, I've seen one place where it said that he got over, well, he just, he just fucked it up. We'll just talk a little bit about that. So, Early in the scheme, a guy by the name of Philip J. Austin allegedly obtained a fraudulent PPP loan for his talent management company using falsified documents. After submitting that application, Augustine then began to work with other co-conspirators, including Josh Bellamy, on a scheme to submit numerous fraudulent PPP loan applications for Confederate loan applicants. Now, in order to receive kickbacks for those forgivable loans for them, for other people, so that he they pretty much was recruiting niggas in on the scheme. I seen one place where they said Josh Bellamy was getting his family members linked in. Now, Bellamy, 
he was alleged to obtain a PPP loan of $1.2 million for his own company, a company by the name of Drip Entertainment. Now, they say he went over to fuck up $100,000 at Dior, Gucci, the jewelry store. They also say he went to spend about 60000 at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. You know you got to go to the casino and fuck it up. And they said he withdrew 300000 of the cheese. Now, it's the scheme pretty much it that he got his 1.2 million but i seen where the scheme was ran up to about 24 million or some shit like that now the complaint alleges that the scheme involved the preparation of at least 90 fraudulent applications most of which were submitted by augustine bellamy and some of the other co-conspirators in the scheme they have that that alleged to have applied for the PPP loans and they together, like I said, were worth in excess. I said twenty four million dollars, but in excess of twenty four million dollars. Now, many of those 90 applications were approved and funded by financial in institutions. And they say um, that that's is running rampant. Like I said, we talked about it. Well, I know where I'm at, man. It depends where y'all at. Y'all got to be tapped in know what's going on around the world man so this is a thing but i see that people are getting sentenced i don't know if people i know they i know we said it's a forgivable loan but the jail time is non-forgivable now some of the people that were sentenced with it or that let's just say they are accused because nobody has been sentenced let me take that back this is just all alleged and my man Josh Bellamy is a football player. I don't know why he's trying to do this. Man, I think the government is on some bullshit, man. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, I'm on the side of I, I always just have to lean to that now. The other ten people that were co that were indicted is gonna be a female by the name of Tierra Walker, thirty seven, Miami Gardens, guy by the name of Damian O. McKenzie, thirty eight of Miami Gardens, Andre M. Clark of Miramar. Kiara Bostic, Pembroke Pines, Philip Oss, Augustine, who they gonna actually say was one of the ringleaders along with Josh Bellamy, Coral Springs, Walia Williams, James Stone, Ross Chirino, Darren Levy, and Abdul Levy. Now, like I said, a lot of these crimes were alleged and they're not they have not been sentenced. They now have been tried, innocent till proven guilty. Only the government look at it the opposite way. I only pretty much really wanted to cover this to see what y'all thought. Y'all get in the comment box. Uh, a lot of people say that the, the the scam game is the new drug game or the scam game is the new crack game. Um, thing is, they say the time is a lot less. The penitentiary is a lot better. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm just here to provide the info to the streets. I want the feedback. Y'all make sure y'all hit that bell to get the notifications for when these new heaters is dropping. And y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. I promise to God I'm going to be back with more of this real trill spill shit. And it's your boy Pablo, man. We the mob. Mob, mob. Mob ties.